today I have the Finesse Center Mount Swimmer Snorkel. I've been training with this for the last few months now, uh, preparing for this review, and I have come to the conclusion that you want this in your swim bag along with your pool buoy, paddles, and kickboard. This is an extremely valuable training aid when it comes to balance and your body position in the water, and with this, you don't have to turn your head to breathe. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the type of snorkel you'd buy or rent on your tropical vacation to look at the fish. This goes directly over your noggin, and this head bracket here presses firmly against your forehead, and when you look down, it streamlines for the tube to be out of the water, and it's designed to work with almost any pair of swim goggles. What the snorkel enables you to do is to really focus and maintain that perfect head and body position through the water. When you're training with the snorkel, there's no need to turn your head to breathe, which can help eliminate some strain on your neck, back, and shoulders. It allows you to really work on your form, and it gives you more time to feel what the proper body position should be like in the water. And as you may or may not know, every time you turn your head to breathe, you have to rebalance and refocus, which is one of the reasons why swimming is such a technical sport and exercise to do efficiently and well. It'll probably take you a few hundred yards to get the breathing rhythm down. Some people choose to use a nose clip so as to not get water up their nostrils. One thing I haven't tried is flip turns, in part because that's not my focus. And the coordination involved, holding your breath, flip turns, clearing the tube of water, seems to be a lot more work than it's worth. So I avoid that altogether. I like to add the snorkel to some longer pole sets to practice maintaining that perfect line and doing my best to catch and pull as much water as possible with every stroke. Another thing I like to do is ditch the kickboard and do a kick set while wearing the Finney snorkel. While this can be a great training tool for the competitive swimmer and triathlete, I have seen some recreational, let's say, weaker or inexperienced swimmers in the pool use one of these. In fact, there's an older lady at my fitness center who not only uses a snorkel, but fins and web gloves. Obviously, she's there for overall health and fitness and exercise, but it goes to show you that even as we age and steer away from competition, some of the training aids that we use, whether it's fins, pull buoy, paddles, or a snorkel, can be used for years to come.